Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel Higher Tier paper from 2019. This is paper two and we're on question four. So this is uh, a question in which we're told a container is in the shape of a cuboid and its sides are 36 and 19 centimetres. And we're told that it's two thirds full of water. And we're given that a cup holds 275 millilitres of water and we're asked to find what's the greatest number of cups that could be completely filled from the water in the container. So one of the first things that we need to know in doing this is the conversion between centimetres cubed and litres. So this is something that you actually have to remember as well. And what it is, is that 1000 centimetres cubed is equal to one litre. And for the purposes of this question, because we're working in millilitres, well, we can change this around a little and we can say that one centimetre cubed, just dividing both sides by a thousand, is equal to one millilitre. So this is necessary in order to be able to answer this question that we know this fact. So the first thing to do is find the volume of the cuboid. So the volume is going to be given by the length times the width times the height. So just the standard formula for that. And we can say that the, the length there is 30 times the width, which is six times the height, which is 19. And if we just put all that into the calculator, because this is the calculated paper, we get that that's 3,420. We're then told that the container is two thirds full of water. So actually the amount of water that we've got is 3,420, and I should say that that's centimetres cubed. And in fact, if we're working in millilitres, because one centimetre cubed is one millilitre, that's actually 3,420 millilitres. But we're going to need to find two thirds of it to find the total amount of water that we've got. So two thirds of, 3,420 means dividing by the bottom of the fraction, so and then multiplying by the top. So if we divide 3,420 by three, what we get is 1,140. And then we need to times that result by two, so we need to go 1,140 times two, and that will give us 2,280. So you can do all this on a calculator since we're on the calculator paper. So that's the number of millilitres of water that we've got. And then since we know that one cup holds 275 millilitres, if we divide this amount by 275, we'll get the number of cups that we can fill. So if we take 2,280, and divide it by 275, then this is the number of cups we get. What we will get is 8.29. So we get 8.29 cups, but we want to know what's the greatest number of cups that can be completely filled. So that's just a case of rounding that up to a whole number of cups. So that would mean we can fill eight cups completely and that's it we've done the question so i hope that's been helpful to you if it has please like our video and subscribe to our channel gary teaches maths and for more help visit our website which is bestmathstutors.co.uk and i've got the web address just at the top left of the screen there thanks for watching